We begin with a Daily Mail TV exclusive, Heartbroken. That's what Dasha Dare says about the shocking death of Dennis Hoff. The legal sex worker celebrated with Hoff on his 72nd birthday, and she was one of the last to see him alive before he unexpectedly died in his sleep. Today, Dasha reveals only to us all the exclusive details about Hoff's final night and who she was with when she found him unresponsive in bed. I'm devastated by Dennis's death. He meant everything to me. The Honduran-born beauty had been partying with the famed brothel owner to celebrate his 72nd birthday, and it was no ordinary celebration. Dennis Hoff threw himself a four-day birthday bash. Here he is at one of his parties. Dasha Dare tells Daily Mail TV, we were at a function on Monday night and came back to the Love Ranch. It was 11 p.m. We spent a few minutes in the bar and then retired to his private bedroom. I gave him a massage on his legs and feet. Dasha says she left Dennis around 12.50 Tuesday morning. 10 minutes later, a woman who works at the brothel brought Dennis two popsicles and a bottle of water. At 10.30 a.m., Dennis's longtime friend and porn star Ron Jeremy went looking for Dasha. He asked her to help him wake up Dennis. I told Ron to go into the room first because I didn't want to go into Dennis's room without his permission. Ron entered the room and sources tell Daily Mail TV Dennis was completely naked with a magic wand sex toy on top of the covers. Ron shook Dennis several times and there wasn't any movement. Ron asked me to tickle him to try to wake him up, but I didn't. I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. Dasha says she freaked out and then left the room. Love Ranch employees rushed in and tried to save him. Hours later, Dennis was gone. I completely lost it. I've been sobbing since I saw him in bed. I can't stop. My world has been completely upended. I loved him. He was so good to me. I don't know what I'm going to do. Dasha said they were planning on getting a dog this week for his new house. Dasha said, I told Dennis to name the dog Hoffy. And even though police don't expect foul play, an investigation into Hoff's death is ongoing.